the beginning of the great road. We are not mistaken to say that the highest limit of the heroic annals of our modern age is the January 20 event. The heroic epic of one nation after the tragedy of January 20, the act of freedom, self-sacrifice, heroism of the Azerbaijan people, pride is a sin. The events of January 20 were written in gold letters to the memory of our people. The motherland, a nation that procedures boys and girls with the freedom of self-reliance, quarrels, their eternal existence and a worthy future. Unarmed people challenge the world's largest empire. The events that occur during this period must be investigated in the smallest detail and it's evident that it's impossible to admire the mass heroism of our people at that time. Everyone showed his attitude to the empire to the best of his ability. For days, the days of the year loneliest to great one because of the shame of the madmen who saw that they wouldn't be able to take revenge in the nearest hour were recorded. The events in the Far East, in those ranks of the former Soviet army in those days, will also be recorded in the heroic assets of the Azerbaijan people. The spread of armored vehicles of the invading Soviet army to Baku and other cities of Azerbaijan spread the news of the bloody struggle of our people in blood. An Azerbaijani delegation also held a protest in one of the military units in the city of Blagovechink, Amur province. This seat was a hunger strike which meant unprecedented disobedience in the Soviet army. Faced with such a massive disobedience, the military leadership was not in a hurry to formally report to the superior if it couldn't solve the problem. But on this scale, the protest was no longer a rebellion, although everyone knew the consequences of disobeying the command of the evil empire in the army of evil, he didn't even think of turning away from principle. Usually, if such actions were organized by a well-organized structure, then this time it all happened suddenly. It was difficult for rural children aged 18 and 20 to accept this. But the stubbornness of these young children amazed the Russian officers. It was not all convincing that 19-year-old Azerbaijan soldier Batsuyan was the one who was voting for the whole empire. With only one act of worship, at the call of Ibad, everything came out of its reach. Although all possible means were used, it was not possible to find a language with the rebels. Fearing that the army's chain of command would react unexpectedly to them, the army had found a genuine way to get out of the situation. The rebels had to be withdrawn, turned or broken, and special troops were brought in break to the resistance of Azerbaijan soldiers. Leadership was only able to cope with extremist elements in this way. Even though this is an organized retail from protest, it's still an event that will be written in our nearest history. My first acquaintance with Ibad dates back to 1988. At that time, we were studying at the driving school in Hankende. We were called to the Soviet army the same day. It was only a matter of time that we went through several military situations and states before reaching the military unit, but we continued our service in the same unit and even in the same unit. We were in the military unit in Blagovechink, Amur province. Although the cold weather made the training and exercises of the motor battalion more ruthless and intolerable, it gained an additional impetus to the study of military knowledge in Ibad. On one occasion, the commander of the Far East Military Army, General Majarov, made the traditional who has a question at a meeting with the personnel of our military unit. Typically, these questions are designed in advance by the management, so as very democratic picture is created and everything goes its way. But this time Ibad unexpectedly said, I have a question, has caused the event organizers. Ibad spoke in Russian that he had never been able to understand. General, please send Azerbaijanis to Nogorno Karabakh to continue our service. General Ibad waited, pausing, but he didn't understand Russian or didn't fully understand what he said. He wanted Ibad to make his point. General, how is this union state that I cannot call and speak to my native village? As I know, I'm an Azerbaijani. An Armenian operator says 
that our village and Nagorno Karabakh are no longer available to Azerbaijanis. Now, if my family and my country don't have any more, what is the need for this army? So, where does the might Soviet army look? If this is the case, then we cannot serve in such army. The general looked to Ibat without answering for a few seconds. The silence of a few seconds was due to the general's analysis of the very briefly crushing effect caused by the courage of the soldiers. Although the tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenians were developing in those days, there was no serious basis for Ibat's existence as the processes were under control. It was, however, a response that arose from the Armenian nationalism at the communication center in the district center or was due to some bureaucratic factors. The general smiled lightly and summoned him. Although such communication was in conflict with the military charter at the general level, there is a strange intuitive rapprochement between the soldier and the general in all armies and armies. Perhaps this means that if a soldier doesn't want to be a general, he is not a soldier. Or if the general doesn't want to fight shoulder to shoulder with a soldier, he has no chance of winning. The soldier general looks at the eyes of sympathetic parent who knows his problems and who's most passionate about him. The general can never accept the justification of his subordinates exactly the soldier. The most encouraged of the generals in the courage of the soldier. A soldier who has shown courage in everything is the most reliable partner in the war. I like your courage, soldier, he said, touching Iba's shoulder lightly. This is an army. It doesn't matter where he or she will serve. Keep on serving. Make sure that you have no problems with Karabakh. After the event, Ibad was summoned to the commander of the military unit. He had to answer for the selfishness he had heard. But Ibad didn't give up. He insisted that he and his countrymen wouldn't serve here. He don't care and he didn't care what legal responsibilities this led to. Lieutenant Colonel held the desk in a desperate manner, smoking a cigarette. He shot several towers through the cigarette box at Ibot and said, You can smoke. Ibot was not smoking. In any case, he would say no, but he had an opposite way. He didn't care what legal responsibilities this led to. Lieutenant Colonel pulled the desk in a desperate manner, smoking a cigarette. He shot several towers through the cigarette box at Ibad and said, You can smoke. Ibad was not smoking. In any case, he would say no, but he had the opposite way. Come on, this is an army. They don't play with anyone in the army. Treat your actions responsibly. You should be arrested immediately because he publicly disobeyed orders. But fortunately, I accept that you are right. I'm on your side. I will do my best, but you will also have to bow down and finish his ministry. Then you know it yourself. The Nagorno Karabakh conflict also infected the multinational Soviet army. This created additional problems for the management. Frequent collisions and disputes on the national floor were gradually out of control. Traditional Soviet methods were not sufficient to solve the problem because of lack of new technology to address his problem. It was have involved chains. Ibad's name has long been blacklisted for clarification of non charter relations and, in other words, public outreach. However, as these lawsuits were mainly national, this issue required a more delicate approach and high professionalism. Ibad had a good opportunity to settle the matter. Ibad and any group of hostile Azerbaijans had to dispatch to another military unit in order to ignore the disobedience of order. The mechanism, which has always been successfully applied in the Soviet army, has again come to fruition. Soldiers who are not usually silent are given military ranks, such as sergeant and superintendent, to take advantage of their potential. It should be noted that this is a very successful segment. With a very gentle diplomatic gesture, you direct the force that you don't obey and cannot subdue. This method has been successfully tested in practice for decades. The psychological state and degree of perfection of young people aged 18-20 
who will send two years in military service, was calculated by Soviet technologists as. He was promoted to Sergeant Ibat. Together with a group of dissatisfied Azerbaijans, he was sent to a considerable distance and another military unit to continue his service. Just five days later, Ibad had left the military on his own and returned with the platoon. That was the end of everything. Ibad had left no room for legal responsibility. The preservation instinct on the bottom of his brain had disappeared. He, he was called a commander. He didn't understand or didn't understand the magnitude of the threat. Commander's eyes which had been irritated were almost out of sight. The soldier who remained behind his commander retreated that half Russian and half Azari wouldn't turn back. Lieutenant Colonel, who had never encountered the similar duo, was at least trying to protect his officer's pride. According to the unwritten rules of the Soviet military system, it didn't entail commanders of any level to silence and subordinate soldier with immediate imposition of a punishment mechanism. This was an indication of his weakness. Lieutenant Collins, 19-year-old physique influence was gone. He didn't deal with the heave article of the military character, even though they didn't understand each other. It was clear he was speaking. The commoner's irritable desire to bring his finger closer to Ibad's face and to explain it was the ultimate limit. Ibad made a powerful blow to the commander's desk with a sudden move. After that, standing on the battlefield was about it his opponent's foot, which the loved and skillful did. An experienced officer immediately felt it. He didn't hesitate to defend himself. It was not impossible. However, by removing the harsh expressions of his face, he was able to prevent the situation from turning into an undeasable end. After a moment of silence, a commander hurried to his desk. This time he smoked his cigarette. A minute ago, there was no sign of anxiety. He didn't speak. He was no longer interested in Iba's future or his future career. The younger soldier under his command was a professional officer for many years. That was the only reason that bordered him. It was also Ibas' only chance of escape to cover their weakness. The commander of the military unit Ibas didn't hesitate. A day later, there were no rumors that the meditators would send other to Ibrahim only to return to their original position. This incident raised the respect of the Azerbaijans in the image of Ibad, but it caused the commander of the military unit very expensive. If the commander knew what was going to happen in the military in the near future, he would have agreed to take a solid punishment on Ibad without thinking about it. Another surprise awaits him January 20 events. The events of January 20, 1990 in Baku gradually became clear to all. All parts of huge military garrison were given information and command number one. It was a signal of alarm that Azerbaijan serving in various military units agreed to join in any street. This is a phenomenon that the Azerbaijans who served in the ranks of Soviet army used this tactic that had been successfully tested before, so long as experienced officers didn't hesitate to express their admiration for it. The main factor that struck the was the structural organization of the work. How could Azerbaijans who are serving in separate military units within inconsiderable distance be able to mobilize in moments? The ignorance of others is indicative of the existence of a powerful organization with a rapidly maneuverable organization with all its structure. The most interesting was the means of communication they used. The decision of elders by a majority of what come in force immediately, a mechanism of action was developed, and the invaders act without the lie in form problematic of an emergency. They must carry out of their duties very clearly. In fact, the structure that Azerbaijan's built in army was based on a simple mechanism. Simply, the leadership of this structure must take the right and decision and the lower ones will have to able command without thinking. An alarm was issued. It was only during a mass brawl. 
The next command was pending. This time, the potential enemy was the Soviet state, not the Armenians or others. The enemy's weaknesses, whether weak or strong, are different. Do you need to resist because the enemy is strong? With the excitement, all Azerbaijan were gathered in Ibat's area. All the weight of responsibility was borne by the Azerbaijan of the local military unit. The soldiers from other nations had already left the giant barracks. Within a few minutes, all the beds in the cabin were immediately removed. Several hundred Azerbaijan warriors began a hunger strike in the middle of the barracks. The world was falling apart. There was never a time when the Soviet army publicly manifested itself in public disobedience and in addition to famine. In the eyes of the Soviet state, the automatic bomb exploded. The steps taken by the leadership to suppress the uprising were ineffective. Although every possible means was used to suppress the wave of protest, the silence of the rebels was striking. Psychological threats, harsh articles of the military charter, long-term imprisonments, fear of death, preventive conversation, discussion, individual conversation, and language opposition aimed at dismantling mean conceptions, on the other hand, were ineffective. The inciting promises were unanswered, unmistakable. It was impossible to protect the confidently of this large-scale action. The whole Far East region was aware of the matter. These days, a commander of the military unit never encountered Ibat. While the organize of the event was just as clear as it was the before day, the top ignored it. The option to lead and influence him was no exception. On the sixth day of the hunger strike, they waited of several days. The leadership was in distance on the one of solution. Special forces from other regions were sent to prison that might in everything had to be settled. Those who were starving for six days of existence and exhausted their physical resistance was reduced to zero. The rebels were also ready to their shooting option. Into the barracks with a sudden attack, the special forces, without giving any protection, drew the soldiers who hadn't already been able to resist. That night, they were driving in three or five cars and drove to the completely different direction. The launch of the criminal case against several hundred soldiers at the same time would cause a wide strip reaction which couldn't the discussion makers themselves. There before the rebels were forced in serve the separate military units and regions. The city of Zadensk, Primorsk Oblast became part of Ibat. The news reached all the military units in Siberia. Those who, who couldn't afford to express their protest and their heartfelt attitude were jealous of this courage act of their fellow countrymen. Shortly after this incident, our fallen compatriots had no opportunity to return, but was still at the center of events. There was no conflict between the Armenians and, and nationalists. The next probably occurred at such a level it scared people because their mass. It was not known that this was well prepared plan from the top against ours and it was an act of revenge for the Armenians. In any case, the Armenians on that day brought the number of nations to at least thousand. One of the highlights of this unusual battle was that in the Middle Ages still, the three most deserving fighters had to fight first. On the Armenian side, Ibad was welcomed by the youngest fighters. As before, he ended his opponent's job with just one foot kick and deprived was who wanted to watch the fight one by one. Another interesting aspect of this mass riot what was the military leadership made no effort to protect the conflict. The results of this great battle were miserable. At least 20 people were killed and hundreds were wounded by the Armenian side, according to the army's official convention. The death toll was not recorded on the Azerbaijan side. The next day the soldiers were deported. Soon there would be a new comprehension, and this time, as a preventive measure, the soldiers had to change their service position. The soldiers was whose time the military service was not yet completed began to prematurely withdraw from the army, although they didn't comply with the military charter. 
In October 1990, but was officially removed from the army. The unprecedented act of mass disappointment in the Soviet army, which had never been seen before, is related to the names of Azerbaijan soldiers. That, that the attitude of occupying army to Azerbaijan and its native Karabakh was met with the first adequate response from the young Ibad and his fellow countrymen. These were just the first steps of Ibad. It was probably at a level that would be incomparable to the work to be done. It will take a few weeks and it will take its revenge from the Golden Army and Armenian Army, who will give up its influence until the Day of Judgment.